Okay, in this video we're going to continue simplifying and then solving the equation. Uh, we'll look at this page 3, two examples on page 3, and then these two examples on page 4. Okay, so let's start with this one. Write it down. It's negative 5 times x minus 2 plus 6x equals 3 minus 11. So please write that down. Negative 5 parenthesis x minus 2 plus 6x equals 3 minus 11. Okay, Okay. so um, this is similar to what we just did, only this time we have to apply the distributive property, don't we? Because we've got a negative 5 touching a parenthesis. Subtract 5 of those bags. right? And that means we need to apply the distributive property. We need to multiply negative 5 in against this and this. Okay. So what's negative 5 times x? That should give us a negative 5x, right? How about negative 5 times negative 2? Negative 5 times negative 2 plus 10, right? And then we just write out the rest of the equation and keep going. So the trick is just go line by line, take your time and don't make a mistake and you'll be right in the end. So now we're back to what we're used to from the last video, which is just adding like terms on both sides and then solving. Okay. So what like terms do we have? Well, we've got a negative 5x, got an x term here, and we've got a 6x here. Right? So these are both x terms. If you put them together, what do you get? Five bad guys, six good guys. That should be 1x, right? 1x, and we also have a plus 10, so don't forget him. Keep your equal signs underneath each other. So we have x plus 10 equals, and what's 3 minus 11? You have $3, you spend $11, how much money have you now? Or 3 plus negative 11, 3 positives plus 11 negatives, what does that make? negative 8, right? So x plus 10 equals negative 8, what's the answer? You've got to get x by itself, right? Which means you need to subtract 10 from both sides. So on the left, 10 minus 10 is 0, and we just have x equals, and what's negative 8 minus 10? You're in debt by $8, you subtract ten dollars you're going to be more in debt right or you're putting a negative eight together with a negative ten that's eight negatives added to ten negatives okay eight negatives and ten negatives make eighteen negatives x equals negative eighteen okay and if I check this it should work out right and like I said I you know you don't have time to check every single problem but Definitely some of the the even numbers that don't have answers in the back of the book. Uh, just check some of them, just so that you're able to check, and so that and always check your answers on tests. Okay. So write this one down. Three parentheses four a minus one parentheses minus eleven a equals negative one minus one. I'd like you to write it down. Press pause and do the whole thing yourself. So write it down, press pause, do it all yourself, and if you make a mistake, that's fine, because it was good practice, and then you'll learn from it. So just write it down, and uh, press pause, and try it yourself. Okay, I hope you've uh, written it down. I'm going to do it now. So we've got to apply the distributive property first, don't we? Three times that, okay? What's 3 times 4a? 12a. 3 times negative 1? Negative 3. Then just write out the rest of the equation and solve it. Okay. So minus 11a and equals, keep the equal sign underneath, underneath each other. Negative 1 minus 1. You're in debt a dollar, you spend a dollar, now you're in debt by how many? You're in debt by two dollars. Or you could do it this way, negative 1 plus negative 1. That's one negative plus another negative. How many negatives? Negative 2. Okay. Now add like terms on the left. 12a minus 11a. What's that? 
12 apples, take away 11 apples, 1 apple. And we still have minus 3 on the left equals negative 2. How do you get A by itself? You've got to undo subtracting 3. How do you undo subtracting 3? Add 3 to both sides. And that gives us A equals what's negative 2 plus 3? A equals positive 1. Okay. See if you can check this. Press pause and see if you can check this one. Do you know how to do it? Okay, I'll do it with you if, you if you don't remember, but you just gotta plug one in for A into the original equation. Always go back to the very first equation because that's the one in the book that's and that'll check all of your work. I mean if you just check this equation or this one, you're not checking if you made a mistake at the beginning, basically. So you gotta check the very first equation, three parentheses four times a minus one minus eleven times a should equal negative one minus one. Okay? And negative 1 minus 1 we know is negative 2, right? So we plug 1 in for a, and we get 3 parentheses, 4 times 1 is 4 minus 1, minus 11 times 1 is just negative 11, so 3 times 4 minus 1 is 3, minus 11, that's 9, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 11 is what? 9, subtract 11, negative 2. So we do indeed have negative 2 on both sides, so that is the correct answer. Okay. Now on to page 4. Write this one down. Negative, well, so we'll do this example, then the one on the bottom. So negative x minus 9 plus 2x minus 13 equals negative 4. Write it down. By all means, press pause and try to do it yourself if you want. But I'm going to walk through this one and then I'll hope you'll be able to do the next one by yourself. So, I hope you've got it written down. A negative outside of a parenthesis, we saw that before, right? So we don't have a number there. Now when we have a number, it, it makes more sense because like the last example we had a 3. So there was like 3 bags and we multiply everything by 3. Okay. But this time we don't have a number, it's just negative. But you can, how many bags are there though? You can think of this as look, I'm looking at one bag of stuff. And so I can put a one there. But it says subtract one, subtract one bag. And subtract everything in there. So multiply everything by negative one. Okay? So you gotta apply the negative to everything inside there basically. What's negative one times x? negative 1 x. What's negative 1 times negative 9? Negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9. Okay. Then just write out the rest of the equation and keep going. So we just take one step at a time and then keep going. Right. So on the left hand side you can add like terms. What can you add together on the left hand side? So you've got a negative 1x and a plus 2x. What does that make? Negative 1x plus 2x. Is that a positive 1x? Right? How about the 9 and the minus 13? Can you put those guys together? Positive 9, negative 13 makes what? 9 positives, 13 negatives. 4 negatives, negative 4. And on this side of the equation, we still have negative 4. So it's x minus 4 equals negative 4. And the trick again is just write it out. If you don't write it out, you'll make mistakes and you'll just get these wrong the whole time and we'll see in math in the same class next term. So just write it out, take your time, and you'll get it in the end. How do you get x by itself? You've got to undo subtracting 4. Okay. How do you undo subtracting 4? Add 4 to both sides. Okay. What do we have? And write down the equal sign. Write down the equal sign. So this is important. See, a lot of students mess this up. They say x is negative 4, or x is 4, or whatever. So on the left hand side, we, we have a negative 4 plus 4, which makes 
zero, right? And but we also have an x. An x and zero just makes x. That's why on the left we just write down x. On the right hand side we have negative four plus four. What does that make? So sometimes students say, oh that's just nothing, and they, they go, I don't know what the answer is. Well, what number is that? What's negative four plus four as a number? Right? So if you write down the number zero, that's the answer. X equals zero. Okay, so watch out for equations like that. X equals zero, right? Okay, so please write this one down and do it all by yourself. Negative parenthesis two x plus five plus 3x minus 1 equals negative 2 times negative 3. Write it down, press pause in the video, do the whole thing yourself. And check your answer as well. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. So again, we've got to apply the distributive property to this. It's a negative, and there's one bag there. So we can put a number 1 in front of it like that negative one so it means multiply everything by negative one okay negative one times two x is negative two x negative one times positive five is negative five right then just write out the rest of the equation and keep going plus three x minus one equals negative two times negative three okay so please press pause and continue from here if you didn't get that part. Okay, I'm going to do it now. If I add like terms, I've got a negative 2x plus 3x. That's two negatives and three positives. Put those together, what do you get? Negative 2x plus 3x. Positive 1x, right? Then I've got a negative 5 minus 1. Five negatives and one negative make what? Negative 5 plus negative one. Five negatives and one negative make negative six. Six negatives equals and go ahead and multiply this out. What's negative two times negative three? That's a negative times a negative which is positive and two times three is six. So press pause and keep going from here if you need to. Okay so we're just solving for x. Get x by itself. 6 is being subtracted here. So we've got to add 6 to both sides. On the left hand side, negative 6 plus 6 makes 0, right? So we're left with x on the left. Equals, keep your equal signs underneath each other. x equals 6 plus 6, 12. x equals 12, okay? And if we were to check that answer, in the original equation, negative parenthesis 2 times 12 plus 5 plus 3 times 12 minus 1 equals negative 2 times negative 3. So we plug 12 in for x. That's what we got, right? x equals 12. So plug 12 in for x and see if it works. So negative parenthesis 2 times 12 is 24 plus 5 plus 3 times 12 is 36 minus 1 equals, sorry, this is positive 6. Negative 24 and 5 is 29 plus 36 minus 1 equals 6. Negative 29 plus 36, what's that? 29 negatives, 36 positives makes 7. So 7 minus 1 equals 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. So we have 6 equals 6. So that is the correct answer. X does in fact equal 12. Okay.